Hello, welcome to Chief Workshop. Visit our website, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and uh, look for the link in the description where you'll find uh, a free mini course in that link. And uh, well worth your while. So let's get started. Okay, manually building a shed dormer. Um, we picked, took this roof plane, created the roof plane. Uh, we basically had that roof plane created before the A12 roof plane. We referred to the previous video on the shed dormer roof. And um, what we're trying to do is now create a manual shed dormer. Uh, here we have an automatic dormer and it looks something like this. There's the uh, there's the automatic dormer. Let's move them around like that. And we want to build the uh, manual dormer here. Okay, so um, what we would what we're going to try to do is let's scooch these out of the way so that we can get some dormer walls in. Um, well, actually, let's let's. Uh, Let's just put uh, let's put this dormer shed shed roof on. And take it from there. Okay, let's build the roof plane. Roof plane. Go there, and we're gonna snap it to the ridge. There, open the wall top is fine. Okay, and now that goofy thing looks like that. Got the wall sitting there, shooting up the A12, scooched up a little bit from, from uh, we've got a little half wall there that we specified in order to get a little bit of height into that dormer uh, originally. And it's an A12, and when you spring it from A12 it comes flying up over the top. What you want to know is what is this height? Let's pick this roof plane if we can, not this one. This one, that roof plane there. Let's see what the ridge height is. The ridge height is 268 and 3 sixteenths. And I think we did that in another video. So let's jot that number down. Grab this roof plane. Um, Let's change the pitch to 2.8 so it matches what we automatically created before. Now we'll lock that pitch, and now we'll change the ridge top height. We snapped it to that line there to 268 and 3 sixteenths. That's what we would like. Tab changes the baseline and the fascia top. The angle got locked, and now. It looks something like this, which is really what we want to accomplish. And now the wall automatically generates to uh, underneath that beauty of chief. Okay, so we've got this automatically generated wall. Now let's take this and let's slide this guy so that it goes to our overhang, matches the overhang of. Dormer, which is six inches. Dormer, we've created six inches past the wall. Dormer, six inches past the wall. Right there. And let's see what that looks like. Okay. Let's take a look at the front view. Um, Let's see where this dormer line um, ends up. Tell you what, why 
why don't we do this? Why don't we build a teeny wall, exterior the wall, which basically would be from there to there. And actually the way these walls, this in the rough plan, this is actually and now that you line these up, this really needs to, this wall really needs to be scooched over to there so that the face lines up. Now let's build another one on this side so that the face lines up. And go in the counterclockwise direction and you can pick that up. It's snapping to the uh, five and a half inch stud and we want this guy actually to snap to the outside face. Line up with that guy. And now we'll put that wall over there and now let's see what's happening out there. You can see that that is you know, a scooch this is being built to there. Well, that seems to work okay. Let's 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 see what's uh let's see what that looks like. Sort of uh reached it and scooped it okay. Uh let's take a perspective interior view and see what that looks like. Floor camera view from inside here. Let's stand here and connect this out with like. Alright. Yeah, that's funky as heck. That ain't exactly what's going on, is it? So this is an X10 X10 glitch, dudes. Not cool. Okay, now let's stick to X9. We're kind of stuck on this one for X. Uh, as of this date, 1331 2018, this is not this is not happening. Not good. Because there's actually a wall there. And you should be able to see through it. Alright, that's a glitch in X10. Not a happy camper about that. But uh, we'll work with it. We will work with it. We will work with it. What else can we do? That's why I call it a beta. Okay, let's clean this up. So what we'll do is we will actually A lot of tricky stuff going on here. Let's uh, just keep it simple. I don't like the way that it's uh, it's just building a little wall here. That works. Build wall, exterior wall, from this line to this line. And make sure that wall lines up. Line up with the wall. Yeah, let's see if that cleaned anything up. Not really. Not really. Still sticking. Small still. Oh, because this roof is out. Let's let's slide this roof so that it bumps into this guy, and that should clean it. And let's slide that roof and clean this darn thing. Slid it out, and now. Let's slide it back in so it's. Yeah, that's the only issue that we got there. I'm not worried about that because I'm just not. Mm, let's slide it to there. And now let's take a peek at what that looks like. That should clean it up. Yeah, pretty much, pretty much. There's some other. Thing going on there. 
Don't worry about it. Let's see what that looks like. So we've got walls. Yeah, but they don't match yet. But the dormers are the same because we use the same roof pitches. Just gotta get the windows. Oh, we have a one foot overhang in the gutter, and it should be a six inch overhang. So we can change that in the plan. Oh, let's dimension this. Let's dimension it. The uh, automatic roof chamber. Uh, Oh, 18 inches. Uh, no, it's, it's not you. Let's change the default. Quarter inch scale annotations. And then put six of the guy. One foot six. Alright, that's not its. Oh, We want to get rid of one foot off of this guy. So we'll just change this dimension to 5 sixteenths. Right. Here's the dimension to 5 sixteenths. So, pick this guy. That. Yeah. 5 sixteenths. 5 and 5 sixteenths. Five, five, sixteen, seven inch, and now we have a six inch from there to the outside wall. So now it should be the same. So now these are the same row. We gotta get rid of the gutter. This roof plane. Go to the menu. Uh, options. Gutter off, and now they match. And let's paint this to this. Yes, and paint that. Paint that little guy. Ooh, yes, John Matthews is generating that wall, which is fine. Let's peach that right under there. Paint that. We can do the same thing. Yes, modify it. Fine. Mm. Yes. Paint. Yes. And that's not a general wall. So that's that there. Now let's um, take care of the windows. Take care of the windows. Alright. Turn this. Control C. Control V. We're snapping to a reference line here, which is it's on the X. It's not going there. Control V. Now we've copied the shed down the windows. From one side to the other. And now our dormer looks something like that. There we go. Talk to Papa. And we hand built it. And it matches pretty much. Makes it a little nicer. That's still some little two hickey thing going on there. Let's just paint it from there to there. Let's see. Let me on that side. Yeah, same, same deal. Oh, yeah. Let's do some painting. Let's take that. 
Our hand built dormer. Thank you for watching. Remember to visit our website uh, where there's a blog which we will upload all the uh, pre tutorials. Subscribe to our YouTube channel which also will have uh, the tutorials. Uh, look in the description for a free mini course in Chief Architect. Uh, click on that and take advantage of that.